All right, I want to take a minute to say what's up. Welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. Right now, we are cruising through this game. All the likes greatly appreciated. If you want more parts each day, let's keep it up. The first part just broke a million views, which I find insane. Biggest video of the year for me so far. All right, here's where we're currently at. I'm level 12. I can't do much except side stuff. But I thought I would try this arena. Somebody told me about this on Twitter. I also got an email about this, like, because I was talking about my level being kind of low. Uh, so people sent me a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of different guides. Well, there's this one area where you can farm enemies. I haven't done it yet. Thought I would kind of try it in this video and see how it actually works. Here's where I'm at with this, though. I could do this mission, but I have to do this first. I went to the town area and bought, I guess, like the blueprint for two of these other potions. I just have to go back and craft them, I think. And then I believe once I do this entire thing and get that reward, then we can do this mission. So, but I'm also going to be underleveled anyway, so I thought I would try this first. So, apparently you come over here on the map. I flew on the broom. It didn't take long to get here. I found this little fast travel point. It's the closest one I could find. There's also a lot of high-level enemies over here, but I wouldn't suggest fighting anybody yet. <laughs> uh, but this area is not too bad. Okay. This says... Okay, we got... Destroy these, I guess. Is this really the thing? I haven't seen this. I was just told this is the location to go to. Apparently, you get a lot of challenges done. You get a lot of stuff done. So, we'll try it for a little bit. See how it actually works. And if that's the case, then we should be... Uh... It's funny. A lot of games like Elden Ring and all that. I remember like farming enemies in different videos just to like level up. I did the same thing with the old Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Valhalla. You kind of have to like... Because everything is like a level requirement. A soft locky behind everything. Okay, we're missing five. Um, we got one here. Doesn't tell you where they are. I'm, I'm guessing there's probably some up top. I could also get on my... Oh, wait. There's a balloon right there. There's also a side quest where you got to hit balloons. I might do that one too. There's another one. Uh, can I just like fly around and see? 17 out of 20. I didn't see any other ones. Uh, let's see. Get a better look from up here. <laughs> oh, there's one here. Look at this. So they're on the outside too. I guess I'll just go ahead and land. All right, 18. Yeah, let's go around the outside. I didn't know there's going to be out here too. And hey, what just happened? Giant purple toad. Oh, I'm not fighting you. Sorry, buddy. No, thank you. I'll go and get these, though. Moonstones. All right. 19 out of 20. Here's the last one. Boom. Uh, that it? Guess we interact with this. It's like, um, it does begin. All right. Start battle arena. Here we go. North Coast. Ready. Wave 1. Okay, so it's... Man, it's pretty cool. That ain't good. You regret this for Guess the, the difficulty of changes. Oh, hold on. Your heart. No! Explosive barrel. Let's get it. Getting a lot of challenges done, too. We got 10 XP for that. You're I don't know. That might not be worth it. Well, we got 100 just then. Okay, maybe it is worth it. We'll find out. All right, let's see. Must be struck. Fire spells make them vulnerable. It's where it's telling me all this stuff. So, the hunt Place on icon too, like the. Why is this guy so tall? <laughs> They're 
take this. Man, the combat is so good in this game. I had one video. I don't know which part number it actually was. But the L1, R1 ability is so cool. I'd advise you not to I have so much time to do that, too. So it's a time thing. Yeah, I may show this a little bit, but I may do it in my spare time. If, uh... If this is, like, boring to watch, I don't know. I thought I would at least show it once. I think I hear my daughter right now. Hopefully everything's good. Very nice. Fighting all the different types of enemies, too. Careful now. None of that betrayal comes to regret that. I can see it. This is cool. I think after this wave, I'll probably uh, kind of cut to when I'm done doing this. I don't want the whole video to be about this. I just want to like show it off. The challenge is done too. Very interesting. Double fire. Let's go, baby. Uh oh, hold on. Where are you going? 20 XP and then. It gets like 100 every time. 240. Okay, yeah, this is definitely efficient. Alright, we got six spiders and then that'll be it. Good thing about spiders is we know fight. And I cannot stand spiders. So it's like all the different enemies in the game. Very interesting. Six out of six done. I wonder if it's just like endless waves or is that it? Five. Okay, so we. It is a conclusional type thing. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh god. That is the biggest spider I've ever seen in any game. I can tell the difficulty ramping up too. So I'm wondering if once we complete this. Oh god. Hey, what, I feel like, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can. Use my brooming combat from there. I just thought of, I like just had that idea. I was like, hmm. all right, ten out of thirteen. Definitely not something I expected to do anytime soon. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, Horizon, the game from last year. It had an arena area. I remember when I got stuck on some of the story. And I was like, how do I level up? I went and farmed the same enemy over and over. Sometimes you just have to do that. Okay. 16 out of 16 done. That might level me up to 13. Looks like it did. Very nice. Return to Highlands. That was actually kind of cool. Five waves or so of enemies. Now we can do the next quest. All right. Well, you know what? 
I did it once. I'm satisfied. I guess anytime I want to like level up, I'll just come back here and fight waves of enemies until I get to where I can go. All right. I'm going to transition when I actually get back to the castle area. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a second. All right. Go to beasts class. All right. This is where we're at with the game. Uh oh, that cat was right there. I'll kind of show you. Um, I'm going to do this other quest after I make these other, I guess, potions and everything from this one. Because I can then get that actual spell and we're good to go. Alright, so what I'll do is this one, I'm assuming... Oh, this is about to be fun. I have a feeling. I need to have a talent point too. I'll use it in a minute. Uh, looks like it's down below Handy me. Resource indeed, your oh. field guide. We go I'm ahead and pet the cat. To be included. Man, the overall vibe of this game has been one of my favorites. It's like... I don't really like to actually describe it. I've played a lot of games over the years, and I think, like, within the first 30 minutes to an hour, I can usually get a good feel for, like, is this going to be a good game or not? When I originally played, like, the prologue and everything, like, the first video, I was kind of... I know it was, like, a sponsored video then, but it's, like, it kind of blew me away with, like... I didn't expect it to be as good as it was, you know? I guess because, like, a few of the previous games I'd played hadn't really lived up to the hype. And my expectations just a tad bit low, maybe. So I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I'll do this quest, and then I'll probably go make the potions. Do the level 12 quest, and then we should be on our way to level 14 by then. Hopefully. I had no idea the level cap was going to hit so soon. I, I would have tried, like, here was my original idea. I was just going to go fight a bunch of enemies <laughs> until I leveled up. Or do side quests and not record it. But I have a tendency to sometimes want to do side quests when I'm actually recording. Which I may start kind of mixing those in because sometimes they give you a lot. Oh, wait. I could just... Wait. Can I fly right here? Oh, okay. Nice. Sometimes it's a no-fly zone. All right. Top speed. Here we go. I should have just went from there to here on the broom anyways. That would have been more fun, I guess. But All right. Here it goes. Did I just, like, wake up? That's funny. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous. Especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Mm. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. <laughs> The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> Alright, here it goes. You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and Bees think petting brush. Thoughts. New items. I like to think it enriches. We actually have to put this on one of our things? Well... I guess we'll assign it to the right side. We'll do the uh, bottom one. That's actually awesome. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Really? Okay. Uh, put that on the right one, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, it was on top of the other one. Let me put this back on there. There we go. Did I? Oh, I just took the ones off the main one I was using. I'll change it anyways. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities. Right after ambition. And cleanliness. 
Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> uh, stupid thing. Oh. Uh. What in Merlin's uh. name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. I'd love to have pet beasts at home, but with my uncle traveling all the time, there'd be no one to look after them. Oh, nice. Can I go in here? There we go. Oh. <gasps> Brush for you, buddy. Ooh, look at the feathers. That is awesome. All right, time to eat. Here we go. Hey, shooter, want to go grab some grub? <laughs> look at him munching. Yo, oh, that's awesome. This is actually not something I was anticipating doing anytime soon. Can I do it again? Some for you too. What about the little ones though? He's ready to be interacted with. What about this one? Alright, the other ones want stuff too. Here we go. Wish I could feed the small one. Hold on. Oh, I can. Here we go. There we go. Brush for you, buddy. Brush for you. I'm assuming I'm doing everything right. Nothing's getting done, though. I'm guessing I have to do it on the where the purple icon is. I just want to feed them, too. All right. How y'all doing? So it's all of these creatures, okay. I was like, you know what's funny? I would have done the same thing in real life. I would have just been feeding everybody. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. All right, talk. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? Uh, I'm gonna say I enjoyed it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. 
Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Here. Who said that? Oh. Hold on. Before we do anything else, let me rearrange this because I didn't mean to change all of these. The fact that they're grayed out, I'm assuming I still need to kind of have them ready for... I guess put that there. Yeah, I was going to put them over here. Look at that. I got three of the same ones. That's funny. We'll do this to that one. And there. That should be good. Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. I'm not sure. What's this all about? You'll see. I promise you have nothing to fear. Alright, something tells me it's gonna be dealing with some beasts, there. so... In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. I'll be honest, going on foot now feels <sighs> weird. Quite the weather we're having. <laughs> Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Yeah, the fact that all of my abilities, Don't worry, all my spells are kind of great out except these. It's just ahead. I'm assuming something's going to happen here in a minute. Stand back. Oh my goodness. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Bow. I like this a lot. Oh, that's cool. Nice. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. So, what did you think of High Wing? High Wing was brilliant. At first, I, well, I was a little bit nervous at first. Here we go. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. 
Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howard mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. I see. Go the first one. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Uh, I wouldn't. Poachers are dangerous. Let's do the first one. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. All right, here we go. So right now, I'm guessing... Yeah, we didn't quite level up enough, but... That gives us a chance to go mix these potions together so we can then... Hopefully do this quest right here. All right, so let me go ahead and see. Let me transition. I'm going to go and just get back to the, uh, I guess, the potion class area. And I will uh, see you there. Hang on one sec. All right, so what I decided to do was come back over here and just see if this guy had any of the, uh, the actual made potions I could just buy. But I bought the blueprints. So I have this one, which you need eggs and fur. This one I have enough to craft. So I can take that back. Um... Flux sweet stem, and then we got the Doug Bog Tongue. Okay. Let's see what he has for sell. What I don't have do much money right now. I got 388. Yeah. So once I bought this. Okay, he does have ingredients. Okay, he has this. Okay, he has a bunch of those. Leech juice. I don't have enough to buy everything, though. That's the only problem. Oh, he actually has them for sell. So I could... Oh, I can't afford that, though. 500? 1,000. Okay, what I could do... Oh, wow. I have enough... To, okay, I have enough to buy... And I swear I had some of these earlier in all the game. Like, I just... I must have just used them not thinking about it. The bottleneck. Here we go. Because I bought these before. All right, so focus potions, 500, 300, 300... I need 1,100. I have 388. What can I sell? Those would give me 400 total, so it's 788. This gives me 90. All right, I have a few options here. I could just buy the ingredients. If I buy both of these, I have enough to make that one. I'm going to go ahead and see what it says on the actual quest. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Let me just, like, check it really quick. All right, acquire use a focus potion. So it doesn't say you have to craft it. Acquire ma okay, Maxima and the other one. Let's see. Use them simultaneously. Man, I'm torn because if I, I can make this one. So I really just need stem. So I need stem, tongue, and then eggs and fur. So I, I could buy these two. Then I would just need to get the other stuff. So they're like the stem and the tongue. Let's see what he has again one more time. And then I'll head back. All right, here we go. What can I do for you today? All right, here's what I think I'll do. Because it's like, I'm not sure if I want to go the route of just buying the ingredients, making it. I think I'll do that. A wise decision. You get one of each. Thank you. That's rough. And then I think that should be it. I think the fur is... This should be the right one. And now I think I'm now just missing one I thing. I see you again. Farewell. I have to make that. Now I'm missing the stem. Okay. I didn't see it in his shop what unless I'm... For you today? Looking over it. So he has everything I need except the stem. 
And I have no idea where to find that. The map will definitely tell me, though. I hope to see you again. Farewell for oh, wait. now. Oh, I could sell those. <laughs> what in the world? How you doing? All right, we're out of here. So I need to go back to the class and actually make these. So let's go ahead and head back to the school. I think we pretty much have everything else we need. The only thing is, if I look at the world map, I'm assuming I could just... What is this symbol? Oh, that's the, uh, the town symbol. Collections guide, available quests. It shows kind of what's available. All right. Go ahead and transition. I'm going back to these potions and uh, see what we can do. All right, we're here. Let's go ahead and get this. So I think it fast travels right to it. What are you up to now? I'm not mistaken. And in here, we should be able to brew everything. Okay. What if I have to be at a specific one? It really doesn't matter. Here we go. All right. Um, let's go ahead and make this. Have to wait a little while. That's fine. Can only use one at a time. I was hoping I could eventually just make these on the fly, you know, but maybe down the road we can. Right now, you just can't. So I have to actually wait for each one. The thing is, I still won't have enough. Here's what I'm wondering, though. You can't sell these types of items, but if I could craft extras and then sell them, that would be nice. And then I could just buy the other potion I actually need. I have to use this with the other one. But I can't craft it yet. Okay, we got that one. We pretty much have everything except the Fluxweed stem. Alright, go ahead and get this one, too. So you can destroy the potion? So if you use a focus potion, does it really matter? Hold on. So you can just use it by itself. You don't actually have to be doing anything. It is kind of cool, though, that they make you come here and do this because... It's, you know, it seems official. I just wish I could use, like, multiple pots since all the other ones are empty. Almost done. Alright, we got two now. So right now we just need a focus potion, but the problem is... Okay, I could use both of these now at the same time. I'm just wondering if, like... Because it says acquire them and use them simultaneously. Alright, here it goes. <laughs> I am nervous about this because... Oh, you have to... Wait, can you tap it twice? Release to equip. Alright, that's done. That's all you gotta do. Look at me. Yeah, I... So I used one of these early on in the game when I was fighting enemies and I didn't realize it. Alright. Acquire and use a focus potion. The thing is, we just need the ingredients. So I'm gonna go look around for that. I might go see if... Somebody else in the town area is selling that thing I actually need. Because the only thing I'm missing right now... Man, I wish I... I might go ahead and craft some of these, but I don't... I might just save my ingredients at this point. Yeah, alright. So, Flux Wheat Stem. I'm gonna just go ahead and find that missing ingredient, and uh, I will return. Hang tight. I just realized right next to the potion shop is this right here. And I almost bet you that they have that stuff there. I gotta do a lot of back and forth, but it's all good. I'm really enjoying this game a lot. I, I didn't know if I would enjoy it as much in the opening of it, but once the game got going, flying is like, it changed everything for me. Alright, oh, please have what I need, what sir. Please. Surprise. There it is. But of course, I can't buy it. So, what we're gonna have, this is what you call a sacrifice. All right, you for the greater good. Business, haven't you? Now, all right, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. That'll be it. That's all we need. All right, going back to the class now. The cool thing is, all I have to really do, I think, is down here. Uh, potions class. Here it is. All I have to do now, make this, and then I think I get that ability. 
or the spell, and then I can go to the extra quest. Down. All right, we got it all going. I might interact with him in a minute. Okay, uh, there's this one right here. Here we go. All right, 30 seconds. We shall have it. Oh, 60 seconds. Acquire and use it. So we don't actually have, well, I almost feel like it's wasting it by doing this, you know? But I, I mean, it makes sense. They want you to use all the stuff in the game, but yeah, having to kind of wait. I'm wondering if maybe after a while you can just like quickly make it. I'm scared to even talk to him because will it stop the countdown, you know? We should do it. Let's just try it. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Let's uh, see, it was nothing. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. All right, moment of truth. Did it still? Oh, it works. Let's get it. All right, all we have to do is just use it, right? Excellent. Easy peasy. All right, attend potions class during the day is the next thing. 